Hi, in this exam preparation video, I'm going to show you how to answer a question on calculating the rate of osmosis. This question describes an investigation into the effect of surface area on the rate of osmosis in cubes of potato. A student cut two cubes of potato tissue, each with sides of 35mm in length. He put one of the cubes into concentrated sucrose solution. He then cut the other cube into eight equal sized smaller cubes. These he then put into a similar sucrose solution. He recorded the masses of the cubes at various intervals. Here are the results. We're told that the loss in mass is due to osmosis, which causes water to leave the cells of the potato. We're also told, and we can see this for ourselves, that the rate of osmosis during the first 40 minutes is greater in the smaller cubes than in the larger one. We're then asked if the rate per square millimetre is different for these two groups of cubes. Pause the video here and have a go at this question for yourself first. It's always nice to have a visual image of what we're talking about, particularly for these calculation type questions. I would always advise you to draw little sketches so that you can see more clearly what you're being asked to do. In order to answer this question then, we first need to calculate the rates of osmosis for both cubes over the first 40 minutes. Once we've done that, we'll need to divide these rates by the total surface area of each group of cubes to give us the rate per square millimetre. The rate of osmosis is shown by the gradient of the graphs, because the gradient, don't forget, is calculated as the change in y divided by the change in x. In this case, y represents the mass of potato and x shows the time. The rate is calculated as the change in mass divided by the time. So for the large cube, this would be the change in mass from 62 grams to 57 grams divided by the 40 minutes, giving a rate of 0.125 grams per minute. The total mass of the eight small cubes changes from 62 grams to 53 grams over the same time, giving a rate of 0.225 grams per minute. Now we have the rates of osmosis for each set of cubes, we need to divide these by the total surface areas of potato in each case. The surface area of any cube is the area of each face multiplied by 6. So for the large cube, this would be 6 times 35 times 35, which gives us 7,350 square millimetres. The total area of the eight smaller cubes would be 8 lots of 6 times 17.5 times 17.5, which is 14,700 square millimetres. Now we can finally calculate what we've been asked to do. The rate of osmosis per square millimetre for the large cube is the rate divided by the area, which is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 grams per minute per square millimetre. For the small cubes, we get a value of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5 grams per minute per square millimetre. The question asks if these two values are different. Now there's not a huge difference between 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 and 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5, and it's probably within the range of measurement uncertainty anyway. However, the values are different. So you could either say that there is a difference between the two rates per area, or that the two values are so close that they're probably equal. In this question you get the marks for correctly completing the calculations rather than for your conclusion. So that's it for now. Make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe for future videos like these. Follow me on my various social media for latest news or revision tips. Good luck with your revision and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.